In this video, let us uh, look into a new topic uh, of polynomials. Now, in this topic specifically, we're going to look into the different types of polynomials. The first one would be a linear polynomial. So, what is a linear polynomial? Linear polynomial is nothing but it is an equation, something like this ax plus b you know y equals ax plus b let's come to this y a little later let's look into ax plus b why is it called a linear polynomial it is called so because of its exponent the maximum exponent here is one right if nothing is indicated then the exponent is one there is only one variable and it has got only an exponent of just one so that's the main point that's why you call this a linear polynomial and what is this y all about y is nothing but the solution that you get when you substitute values for x say for example you know you've got y equals 2x plus 3 so when you give different values of x values for x you get different values for y say for example you give the value 1 for x so that makes it 5 so y becomes 5 so this that that is y you know the solution for this linear polynomial so that is what this is all about Basically, a uh, polynomial means it is an equation which has got more than two terms, two or more terms. That is what is called a polynomial. So, we've done all these things in the previous video. So, please do check the previous videos to get more detailed explanation on this specific topic, polynomial. Because in this topic, we are um, doing only the types of polynomials. So, the linear polynomial the main thing the main key word that you need to remember is maximum exponent or it is also called as the degree of an equation the degree means what is the maximum exponent so the degree of this is one because the maximum exponent of the variable that is there in the equation it's just one so the maximum exponent of the variable is one so such equations are called as linear polynomial so what is the next one the next one is it is called as a quadratic polynomial you should have guessed what it should be well it is nothing but it's just got a a greater exponent this than this it'll be a x square plus b x plus c so y equals ax square plus bx plus c is called as a quadratic polynomial. Uh, you see that the degree of this equation, degree again, it means uh, the greatest exponent, the largest exponent of the given variable. That's the degree. The degree of this is 2. So if, now what is y again? It's the same thing. Say if you've got an equation like this, 3x square plus 4x plus 5, then if you substitute different values for x, what do you get? Y, yes. That's what y is going to be. So, here the key thing to know is the maximum exponent of the variable. The exponents will differ. It's got 2, it's got 1, but we are looking at the maximum exponent, the greatest exponent. The maximum exponent of the given variable in the quadratic polynomial is 2. So this is the key here to know, to differentiate between a linear polynomial and a quadratic polynomial. So we've got one more uh, finally, which is called as a cubic polynomial. So this is going to be, of course, you know, since it's cubic, I think you should have made out or these words do not give out much because linear, well, it doesn't say that, you know, it's one quadratic doesn't say it's two, but cubic, we've heard things like x cube and all those things. So it is definitely a x cube plus b x squared plus c x plus d. So this is what is a cubic polynomial. And again, y is, say, for example, you've got values 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. When you give the values of x, you get the value of y. So here, the key to remember is the maximum exponent, the maximum exponent of the given variable is 3. Right? So for the topic that we are going to do in the forthcoming videos this should suffice as of now this is what is required so yeah these are the different types of polynomials here 
the most important thing is you need to know how to identify them as I've told you based on the degree of the equation or the maximum exponent. So what we'll be doing in the forthcoming videos is we will uh, see what kind of graph do they give. What kind of graph do we get when we plot the values of x and y. When you substitute a value for x, you get some value for y, right? So x comma y makes a point. So when we have different solutions for an equation, we need to see what kind of a graph each one of these types of polynomials give us. So that is what we'll be looking into the forthcoming videos.